Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Marianne, and this is The Groom. And upon the horror miser Monty G's suggestion, we checked out Becky, which I bought on Amazon Prime Video. I'm sure it's available other places as well. Wait, you bought this movie? I totally bought it. Because the rent to buy option was like just a few dollars in between, and um, why not? It you know Seeing it's a pandemic and sometimes you buy things you really don't need, but I'm glad that I bought this movie because it is awesome. The movie centralizes around Becky, who is a teenage girl who recently lost her mom due to cancer, I believe, and uh, her dad has started dating and decides to pick Becky up from school spontaneously to take her up to the lake house. And uh, then his girlfriend shows up with her kid, and Becky does not take it well. Because she's a teenage girl, she's full of emotions, obviously. She is very upset and very angry about losing her mom. And just, like, it's hard to be a teenage girl. I speak from experience. That's just, it's, it's a lot. So just, you know, you gotta be very gentle and understanding. But Becky's kind of a psycho. Um... As this is all going on, we learn that there's some inmates, some very scary inmates that escape from a prison transport and are now just out and about in society and they are honing in on Becky's lake house because there's a key that they want and uh, will really, they'll stop at nothing to get it. And one of the inmates is played by Kevin James, which was like the most interesting choice because all I could think about when reading the premise of this movie was just, like, Paul Blart. Like, how is that scary? But, like, actually, Paul, like... Paul, Paul Blart the Nazi? Yeah. I missed that initially, that he had a huge swat stick on the back of his head. But vision problem, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's essentially, like, the meat of this movie is the inmates trying to get Becky and Becky's just insane and awesome and trigger warning there is animal violence in this movie so if you're sensitive just be careful they don't really show it but they show enough that it's like my heart yeah the sound yeah that. the sounds and Are you know awesome. that yelp like even just stepping on like your animal accidentally and you hear that sound and it just breaks your heart but anyways, what did you like about this movie? This movie was fucking brutal. This movie was... I just couldn't believe how brutal this movie was. And I really enjoyed that. I really thought it was going to be, like, very kid gloves and not show everything and just kind of, like, do the whole pan away and pan back thing. But no, no, no. The, 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 the scissors, the eye... All that fun stuff. Yeah, there's a... Yeah. There's an eyeball scene. Yeah, there's an eyeball. Where you not only see someone get yeah. stabbed in the eye, but then you see the aftermath of how he tries to fix the situation of someone being stabbed in the eye. It, and you walked away. Wow. I, wow. I got, like, a little queasy. Because anything with eyes, like, if you know me, if you've been... <sighs> on the channel for a while. I have, like, a long history of eye problems. So, like, anyone even, like, blowing air near an eye, I'm like, ooh. And that was just, like... That was brutal. Yeah, that gave me that wet mouth feeling, like you're gonna be sick. <laughs> but I watched it. I didn't walk away like some people. Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah. It was... I was, like, shocked. That was more shock than anything else. Mm-hmm. Well, I feel like... Oh. There was no implied gore in this movie. It was all in your face. And yeah. I was not expecting that. And I was so pleasantly surprised. I can see why Monty wanted you to watch this movie. Well, I'm a gore hound. I, exactly. I thrive on this. So what did you like? I obviously really liked the gore. Um, I liked that it showed a completely different side of Kevin James's... Um, range. Yeah, his range is, is, like, surprising. Like, I remember just watching his stand-up as, like, a kid and being like, ah, he's funny, and then him and Grown Ups, and then, like, 180, like, holy crap, him and Becky, like, 
dang, we need to see some more serious movies with Kevin James if he can do this. It was very surprising. He did play that manipulative, like, neo-Nazi person who was able to control people that were obviously more, like, powerful than him. <clears throat> like, the other, like, the other guy, the big, huge guy, he was able to control him through ma manipulation, and I think the movie really showed that very well. And it wasn't like he was screaming at him to get him to do what he wanted. He was using, like, a very gentle voice, and, you know, just the key words he was using were hitting this guy, and mm -hmm. that was probably the creepiest part. If it would have been just him screaming, I don't think it would have had the same effect, but it was just like, oh, no, like, he's he's done this before. Like, the, exactly. the character has done this before. I hope Kevin James hasn't done this before. But I was really surprised with that. I was really surprised with the um, actress that played Becky because I'm just, I'm that person that's so critical of child actors because they're really like, good ones are very few and far between. And holy crap, she was, she was great in this movie. She just conveyed every emotion as you, you know, as you wanted. It was very realistic and it was her character itself, like, she does a lot of things that you don't really expect or you have that dark spot in your mind that's like, she should just do this. And then she actually did it and you were horrified and gleeful at the same time. She was great. She's awesome. I can't wait to see more, you know, films with her in it. I know she was in The Haunting of Hill House and she was awesome in that. Um, I didn't... I will say, this is not my typical kind of movie that I go for. I like made-up monsters, because real-life horror is, like, is the worst, because it happens all the time. You do hate the uh, forced entry horror, too. Like, the, the intruder kind yeah. of thing. But to see, you know, see it in such a different perspective in this movie, I was just... I, I really, really dug it. I didn't think I'd be into it as much as I was, but I really liked it. What didn't you like? I, th there were some pacing issues. Sometimes, you know, it took a little bit to get to the, the meat where I wanted to see things happen in action. I understand every movie needs to have some build up. Um, but sometimes it's just, it's hard when you got a short attention span. Obviously, I didn't like the animal cruelty because, like, stop that. Mm -hmm. What did you not like about the movie? For me, I wanted, like, a little more substance to the to the background stories. Like, they kind of made you make assumptions about what was going on. They never really said what the mom was dying from, but we all assumed it was cancer. Mm -hmm. um, never found out, like what the thing they were looking for did. Yeah, that was a little frustrating. aggravated the shit out of me. We, like, watched the credits. We're like, oh, it must be a post-credit thing, you know, because Marvel has us all trained that every movie has post-credit stuff. Ferris Bueller started that one. Yeah, well, Marvel is what made it really annoying. Ferris Bueller did it in one movie. Marvel did it in, like, 17. Yeah. So it was just, I mean, that's really the only things that I could, if I could pick. You know, obviously the end cruelty was awful the pacing was awkward at times but this the lack of substance for the backstories and for the really the finality of the story the f the end of the movie is awesome yeah the, of the what, ending of the movie is what amazing. happens at the end of the movie is awesome the information you get at the end of the movie is awful the story doesn't like you're missing a big finality it doesn't of the story. have like a so resolution. Un so unless there's going to be some type of sequel, I could understand. But this doesn't look like a movie that really is going to have a sequel. And if they do, it's going to be awful. <laughs> That's <clears throat> so positive. I just, it just, you know, it just is. But other, other, other than that, I really love this movie. I thought this movie was great. You know, Monty knocked it out of the park. Kevin James knocked it out of the park, too. <laughs> that was so creepy. Oh, that was weird. Yes. So, what would you rate this movie? I think I would rate this movie probably like a 3.5 out of 5 on gore alone. I loved it so much. Also, like, Joel McHale is in this movie as the dad, which was a weird choice. But I he's just, good. 
He did all right. I was surprised. He doesn't seem like the fatherly type, but like I, I also like. I'm sure he has kids. <laughs> my my memories of him are just like him on Talk Soup mm-hmm. on entertainment television, mm-hmm. and uh, it's strange to see him acting as like a responsible a dad. <laughs> Weird seeing him as a responsible adult. It's yeah. Um, I would give this four out of five. Like I said, the gore was top top notch. The story up until the end was actually really good, and it just you know the end faltered it all for me. Like I literally took, you know, like one star off of it just because of the way it ended and the p- pacing issues. But yeah, yeah. I I mean, this movie's definitely worth a watch. If you like, uh, it's definitely worth to watch Kevin James. In yeah, this movie. he's so good. I got some "I Spit on Your Grave" vibes, like yeah. the second part of "I Spit on Your Grave," just the ruthlessness. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and awesome. she also made like really smart decisions, which is surprising the for one a teenage the, girl. The one kill at the very end just surprised us all. Was good though. I wanted that to happen, but it was, I was it surprised was, you it didn't really happen. thought they were going in the other direction, and then boom, mm-hmm. right back. Um, so yeah. So you can find this streaming services. You probably have to pay for it because it's a newer movie. But honestly, it's worth it. You know, what else are you gonna do right now? You should be at home, anyways. So stay home, watch movies. Why not? Uh, If you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Like the video if you did like the video. Or you can like the video if you... Are a Kevin James fan. Are a Kevin James fan. Or uh, your significant other will randomly just watch Grown Ups and Grown Ups 2 from the middle. And it's terrible. It's awesome. Um, Leave a comment. What are your thoughts? Did you see this movie? Do you have any other recommendations? I've been watching a lot of like weird, like revenge weird. spin the plot movies where the hunted becomes the hunty. I watching. don't know if that's that made me think of RuPaul's Drag Race when they say hunty. Anyways, um, when the prey becomes the hunter and the hunter becomes the prey. <laughs> That's how you... It's not Hunty. I like Hunty. Like, how you doing, Hunty? So, um... <laughs> yeah, I watched Revenge, and also you should watch that review coming soon. It's amazing. Um, Where can you, they find us? You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. You can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well, where they don't slip up and say possible vulgar things on their videos, but that's what you guys are here for, so you're welcome. Where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter under Repeat Room Ray. You can also find me on Twitch, where I am almost at affiliate status. I would like to thank everybody who's been supportive, especially Zachary Hayden comes in my stream so much, and I'm going to very much say thank you. So everybody else, come follow me. At Repeat Ray Animator on uh, Twitch, where we have lots of fun. We actually talk horror movies a lot during my stream. The fans of the YouTube channel have taken over my Twitch stream, and I do not mind it at all. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Bye, Hunty. Have a good day. Bye.